Claude sucks when coding with SDKs or libraries. I find that when I'm using a library or custom SDK to code new features, Claude never knows how to properly code using my library or SDK. I always end up with errors and have to fix them by either reprompting it in a loop, passing in the errors, or by manually fixing them. I try to provide Claude with links to docs, but it can't explore all the docs for something in one go. The best way I've gotten it to work is by manually coding the initial features myself, then telling it to look at my code for my old feature and follow the logic of that code to code the new feature. Does anyone else deal with this and have potential suggestions on how to improve clause generated code with SDKs and libraries? Yes, I believe I do. I believe so. I would say I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, so we're going to NVIM C oil and we're going to go to sessions. Now, sessions is um, sessions is something I built on top of Claude code. You can feel free to use it. Feel free to use it. GitHub, Guidecap, backslash sessions, CC sessions, pipx run, CC dash sessions. Anyways, this is what I use. But you don't need that. You don't need to do that because you could just do... You could just, uh, here, I'll do this. We'll go make dir p uh, dot Claude knowledge. We'll make you a little knowledge folder in your dot Claude folder, okay? That's what we're going to do, okay? Hold on, let me, okay, that's better. You can see that better. I'm sorry it was too small. So we're going to make that folder, and let me just pop back into NVIM so we can see it, okay? So we'll G plus, so we have dot Claude. We can go to knowledge, right? And so here in knowledge, we can grab the documentation for anything you need. Now, to give you an example, right? I'm just going to go to my sessions knowledge folder. Uh, he. Gosh, dang it. All right, I'm going to go to my sessions knowledge folder. And so here's where I put all my knowledge, okay? Now, for instance, right, I need to use Claude code to, to mod Claude code so I can make it work better. Okay, well then I need documentation for Claude Code. What, what do I need documentation for? Do I need all of Claude Code's documentation? I definitely don't need that, okay? That's insane. I just need the hooks reference, and that, we can very conveniently find that. Most documentation sites these days are gonna have, um, are gonna have markdown, especially ones around LLMs, but no matter, you could usually find like uh, markdown. Hold on, let me go to. Uh, let's just find hooks reference. There we go. Um, so Claude code. Oh, we'll go to the top here. Claude code. You can copy the whole page for a Claude code doc file, or you can view it as markdown. And most, you know, if the help documentation for the SDK, let's say, is in GitHub. All right, well, you can find the GitHub file, and then you can copy it, or you could have Claude copy it. The thing that Claude doesn't do so well with is like parsing a GitHub. But if you go to the GitHub, you find the file, the documentation you want, then you can give that URL to him and he'll be able to fetch that. But he can't, he can't just give him a GitHub and be like, find the right docs for this thing I need to do. He's not, Claude Coe's not so great at that. I don't know why. That seems like a very simple thing to tackle, but they, ha they don't appear to have tackled it yet. <laughs> so we'll go to view as markdown. Okay, so let's say you have some SDK. What SDK are you using? You know, let's go to the agents SDK for OpenAI. Let's say that. Okay, OpenAI agents SDK. We'll go to. Um, let's just go to any documentation file. Context management, maybe. Oh, this is all like, this is like foofy woo woo. We need the API reference. That's what we need. Uh, what do I got to do here? Okay, we'll just do the agents module. Okay. Oh, they don't really have this. Do they not have, dude, open AI, get it together, my guy. Well, it's, it's on GitHub. So, you, you know, Claude will be able to find that. Okay. And so you just want to pull it down. You want to pull it down. And to, just to give you an example, like here is the hooks reference MD for Claude code. You know, you just pull that in. And then you just tell Claude during a session, like, hey, man, this is your documentation. If there's anything that you can't find, 
you can resolve it in the library and then record it to your knowledge. What you cannot do is make an assumption about how the library operates if you don't know. And just say that, just say, here's your knowledge files. If you need any other documentation because you don't know how something works, let me know. Otherwise you can use like, let's say you're in some language, you can use that language's interactive shell or REPL or whatever to import, to require from it and then discover the API for the library that you're using or the SDK that you're using. So that's generally how I deal with it. I hope that that helps. It may not be helpful. Maybe everything I just said is obvious, but I hope that it helps. And if you want to check out CC sessions, which is what I use to kind of steer Claude and make it, um, you know, adhere to rules like this a lot better. You can go to, um, well, you could just do uh, NPX CC dash sessions, or you can do pipx run CC dash sessions. I'm toast. I hope that helps. Peace out.